Hello everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Kingdom. This will probably be a short series, but I wanted to show off this game. Uh, I got a review code from the publisher. This is developed by Noyo and Licorice, published by Raw Fury. I guess they, um, they had some development stuff going on with uh, Nordic Games, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so this is Kingdom. It's a 2D strategy resource management kind of game. It's with some randomized roguish elements. Um, but you'll see our queen. We are actually the queen this time. Um, the character you start with is randomized every time. They're all the same, I guess, statistically. There's not really any statistics for them, but... Um, the character's gender and race is randomized every time. So it looks like we have a queen this time. We'll head on over to the east here. Let's see if we can get to our main camp. We'll pick up a few coins along the way. Coins are our currency, used for pretty much everything. Yeah, let's light this fire. And uh, let's give some coins to these guys and recruit them. So at various places we can use coins to build structures, recruit people, things like that, build items. So we'll buy a hammer and a bow. Archers are your offensive and defensive units of sorts. Um, they will kill rabbits and enemies that we will see a little later. There we go. Pick up these people for one coin apiece. And we won't go any further right now, though. Let's head on back. So the goal eventually is to build up your kingdom of sorts here, starting from scratch. And uh, this is kind of nudging me to come over here and build a wall. We should. Now, what the actual end goal of the game is, I'm not actually sure yet. I've never beaten the game. Um, so I'm not sure what the ultimate end goal is, or what the end objective is. I have an idea, but I haven't quite figured it out yet, and, um, runs can be very, very long. I've played the game for about two and a half hours, I think, and, um, okay, we won't go any further here just yet. Uh, some of those runs have gone over the hour mark. Um, it's not a very fast-paced game, but it is pretty engaging. Also, it's gorgeous. I love the art style of it. I know some people get tired of like pixel art and stuff, but um, I think this is really well done. The background's very detailed. Characters are nice. The water is fantastic. Uh, it looks really nice. It's got some interesting music and sound going on in it. Let's head back to camp here. Um, coins? Yeah, I was gonna say. if they They'll pick up coins for you, and they'll hold on to them, which is really nice. So you don't really have to worry about losing coins. Um, we do want to build... Let's see, grab another bow and another hammer here. I want to build a wall on both sides to be safe. Because once nighttime hits, things are going to get a little dicey. Um, how many coins do we have right now? I think we have... We have two coins right now. I'll put this into a bow for now. Uh, so, at the start of every day, we'll get some more coins as well. Music might get a little loud at times. I'll adjust that as time goes on. Depending on how well I do, we'll kind of determine how long this playthrough goes. If it'll be just one run, or if it'll be a series of them. So we're heading into our first night time here may see why night is a dangerous time, but we might not. Probably will, though. So I'm going to stay within these walls. Uh, we can die, in fact, that is the losing condition of the game. I mean, it's not so much you die, but if you lose your crown, then uh, you are no longer the king or queen, so... So we see those kind of, uh... Creatures, demons, perhaps. I'm not really entirely sure what they are just yet. But at nighttime, they'll come out in force and uh, and attack. 
We can use walls to block them. We can use our archers to kill them. Things of that nature. There we go. So when the new day starts, we'll get um, some money. I'm not sure what that's based on. Um, I've gotten to many later days and not gotten nearly as much anymore from that. So I'm not entirely sure what that's based on. All right, so it looks like we got two guys with hammers, two workers. Uh, I'm gonna build a couple more bows and uh, see if I can recruit a couple more guys. And we'll knock down this tree as well. So you, you come with me. Is anybody else here right now? Now see if we can go any further. Cause it's camp here too. I'll pick up these guys. Hello, folks. Is that another treasure chest? Oh wow, that's amazing. I've never ever found a second treasure chest before. That's very interesting. Okay, we don't, that's, that's a portal for demons or those creatures, whatever they are. Uh, I wonder if that treasure chest will respawn. That would be actually staggeringly good. Well, let's head back before it gets too late and uh, set up some defenses. See our horse is a little winded right now, so we can't sprint at the moment. Hopefully this guy, they'll make it back to camp in time for nightfall. Because they be, they'll be very vulnerable. Um, if they get attacked, they'll lose... Um, essentially their... Either their job, their position, or... Um, kind of their their status and they'll go back to just being regular uh, regular folk so hopefully they'll make it here by nightfall now I'm not sure if you can lose uh, individuals permanently I did hit a situation later on where they'll start to wander off if they are uh, without a job for too long I wasn't able to re-recruit them. Alright, so we've got a few workers now. I want to make sure I have a lot of archers. Very, very important for defense. But I want to make sure it's split as well. I need a good balance. Now I can make a tower here as well for one of them to be perched up in. The towers are a little double-edged though, I find. Uh, towers will prevent them from roaming around and killing rabbits, but it makes them more accurate, I believe. And maybe they do more damage too. Also, as I trigger things, as I mark things with coins, the workers will move about and uh, take care of various jobs. And at night time, everybody will come back to camp. Oh, we can upgrade our, our whole camp here, actually. There we go. Yeah, I'll hold on to this money for now. Alright, so I heard a couple of guys hop into the towers. Oh, here we go. Here comes some enemies. Now you'll notice our little friends aren't particularly accurate either, so we gotta make sure that the walls are in good shape. Or they'll run into a lot of trouble. Seems as that has all gone very well for the first night though. Or second night, I suppose. Yeah, here we are, uh, day three. Alright, so I'm going to come out here and start to clear some more land. Now this is some um, potential farmland we could get, but we're gonna have to expand out here quite a ways to make that safe. Right, so let's, let's expand out here and see if we can get um, a few more folks to come join us by nightfall. I don't think there are any more camps out here actually. No, just that. Okay, so that's, that's our last camp. We'll have to check out the west side to see, um, wow, we can actually mark these trees all the way out here. That's kind of remarkable, actually. I wonder why. We can't mark the ones in between. 
Hello, friend. So we'll have to give them jobs here. Um, and we'll build this tower up. So I'll grab another bow, and that's actually as much money as I have. I have another hammer already in store, so... See, these guys probably did some rabbit hunting while I was gone. They did, wow, a lot, actually. I would build... another tower here. I'm a little concerned about not being completed before nightfall, but I think it'll be okay. Hopefully these guys will come back from taking down those trees in time. Got quite a bit more money there. Hope this guy had some as well. You guys are just raking in the cash here. Let's make another... Um, Another mallet here. I think uh, I think it's time to head back home, though. Sun's setting pretty soon. Can we upgrade this again? Not yet. Now I could build that wall there, but I don't have. Um, really much in the way of protecting it just yet, so I'm gonna hold off on that probably till tomorrow. Actually getting quite a store here. Yeah, they're all heading back now, so. So let's hole up at camp. Be safe here. Till daytime. The creatures will steal your items as well if there are some on the racks. Very cloudy, foggy night here. Really like the effect over the water too. So we know where the uh, their portal on the east end is, but I'm not sure about the west end. Oh, here they are. We've got a fair amount of archers, too, so we're actually in pretty good shape here. I don't think we lost anyone either, which is very, very good. Ah, we could upgrade our camp again, too. Which might be a good idea for today. Oh, I don't want to do that until I open this chest. Uh... There we go. Alright, so that should let me upgrade things a little further now. Well, maybe not. Huh. Uh, we do have uh, farm equipment available now, though. But the farm is pretty far out there. Um... I'm going to put some of these available and see if uh, I can find some more folks to bring home to us. Oh my god, we have so much money here. Hopefully there's a camp over in this direction. I don't know if they'll make it back by nightfall, but we're going to try. Oh, here's a, a wandering merchant as well. We give him four coins. He'll come and give us a whole bunch of stuff. All right, yeah, these guys are here. I'm a little concerned they're not going to make it home in time, though. But we'll try. Um, and this will actually let us upgrade, I believe, to stone-style walls and such. In fact, why don't we go home now? Yeah, I think that's kind of like a progression marker of sorts, and when you spend the coins for that, it'll build itself, and I believe it allows you to make uh, stone walls and things like that. So 
So we're gonna head back here. I don't know if there's ever a way to train your horse either. Would be nice though. Is this a farmland too? It is. Hmm. And you guys are doing really well back here. Yeah, let's see if we can build this up before nightfall. It's gonna be kind of a tall ask, but I think we can do it. Tempted to do the other side too, but a um, little concerned. We're also going to need to build up this wall now because we've expanded here. Um, we don't want this guy to be vulnerable. Could upgrade our camp again too. Might do that in the morning. To get that wall, um, and we got the the tower built there. That's actually really good. I'm a little concerned about this wall um, on the outer edge, though. I don't think the workmen are going to get there before nightfall, and that's very dangerous. So you can see this tower holds two people now. Oh, that guy stole a coin. Yeah, they will steal coins uh, from our workers and such. I'm not quite sure what that causes. But, uh, there we go. This guy back here. Did lose two of them. Didn't quite make it back in time. They should be able to pick up their stuff again here. And we did get this wall built, so that worked out well. Unfortunately, I think those archers converted into, uh, workers. This isn't necessarily bad, but not quite what I what I wanted. Let's upgrade our main camp here. Oh that uh that merchant gave us a whole bunch of farm equipment. Really build up our outer walls here. See if there's anybody available to pick up here. There are. You guys can come along. They'll probably end up automatically being farmers because they'll cross over the, the scythes first, but that's okay, we can deal with that. I would like them, I would prefer them to be archers, but we'll make do. Ah, oh, we can start building catapults now. That's pretty nice. You guys need to come home, though, because, uh... Stuff's about to get a little sketchy here. I would really like to build up this wall, but... I don't think I have enough. Oh, wow, they actually do kill the deer. I actually did not know that. Huh. Let me get this outer wall built before nightfall. I've only got two coins left here. You want nothing to do with that. Yeah, so you can see like our uh, our area of influence has expanded a little bit here. Okay, so, yeah, so we've got a couple of farmers, but we don't have any farmland yet, unfortunately. It's quite the stormy night. We've only got two coins right now. I hope nobody's outside here. We better head back.
some eerie music happening here. Yeah, I really, I really don't want you guys to be out here. Fortunately, we don't really have a lot of archers. We have a lot of workers. So let's see. Um, tomorrow. Oh God. Oh yeah. Um, so this is a problem. We have a lot of... I don't know where the rest of our archers are. But we might have lost some. Um, this wall is going to go down pretty quickly here. However, they'll run away at daytime. But I'm not sure our archers are going to be able to finish them off. We need to be able to run. Oh god. Get away. Yeah, so they're going to start taking out our Tom's folk, unfortunately. Taking some of our supplies. We did get that one though, so that's that supply will be dropped. So they'll be able to pick those back up. We will need to re-recruit them though. So every five nights, you get kind of like a, a super attack event that happens of that nature. Let's get this guy back. They did break down this wall fully, so we'll have to repair it. It does cost a small amount to repair um, items like that. I want to see if there's anyone to recruit out here before we end the episode. So it looks like this will be a, uh, a multi-episode run here. So after a pretty good start, um, that first event can be pretty rough. Let's get these guys. Go. Oh, one of them spit a coin back at me. There you go. Alright, so that'll do it for now. And tomorrow we will continue on the additional days and see how far along we can get with our kingdom. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. A uh, game will be out next week if you're interested. It will be on Steam and a bunch of different platforms. So uh, look forward to it. And I will see you soon.